Right, now I don't know if it's got any petrol in it at all. It's got a little bit in the bottom there. It's the uh, 450 series Briggs engine. Let's give it a bit of a prime. Don't even know if it starts, folks. Let's try it. Just to make sure it don't start hunting. Well, there you go. Seems to run all right. Don't worry about it being a glass table, folks. Right, that's that on there. So I don't think I'm going to really need to do a lot to this. The air filter is a bit cruddy. So we'll take that out and we'll give that a clean because I've got a spare one of them. So I will give that a clean and some old stale petrol, which I've got. Also clean up the lid as well. And as you can see from this one, folks, the air comes in at the bottom along there as well, folks. Look, if they're all blocked up, it's not gonna be able to suck air in, you see. So always make sure these grills there and there are clean. Right, so I will remove the top cover, folks. That's just as a matter of preference. Just because I want to make sure that underneath here you don't get any um, grass that's been collected over the years. Because I don't know whether or not this has been uh, maintained properly, you see. So I always, even though I'm not going to probably do a lot to this lawnmower, because it seems to be A-OK, -okay, I will do these checks. And just shows that I've been there, basically, you know. So the pull cord looks all right. I'm just examining that at the same time. Let's remove that. Yeah, it's pretty clean under there. A little bit dusty, that's all, but that's about it. I'll just stick that in some uh, old stale petrol for the moment, folks. Let that do its work in there. And uh, pull that plug cap off. There we go. Not sure what plug that's got in it. Looks like a champion. So let's get that out. That's a small headed one. All right, let's have a little look at that. Is that the one? That's the kitty. That is a 10 mil socket, that one, folks. There we go. Shouldn't be that tight. So yeah, because this is running nicely, this folks, I'm not gonna have to do too much to this. They're just visual checks. And a lot of maintenance is basically visual. Yeah, it's a little bit black, apart from that it's okay by the looks of it. That is a Champion QC12YC that's stuck in there. I don't know whether that's the right plug or not, but um, that's okay. I'll just give that a clean up with a wire brush. So there we go. So yeah, the plug looks to be a good colour. Seems to be okay there. You can burn these off as well, folks, with a blow lamp. It's another way people like to do it. Yeah, I'd say that gap was all right. Should be 28 to 30 foul, folks. Look at it. With experience, I'd say that's about that. Right, so we can put that back in. And again, just, just nip it up. There we go, ain't got to go too mad. I'll leave that lead off for the moment because I'll be working under there. And that's a nice little touch, folks. You don't see that very often where someone's left the, um, the manufacturer's label hanging on it. So that's a good presentation thing for when we take our photographs. So I'm happy with that. Just take that off there. So yeah, all this is just looking a bit grimy. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a squirt down and a bit of a clean. So um, I'll see you in a minute.
All right, folks, so air filter's been cleaned. Time to put that back in. Case is nice and clean, as you can see. Just hook that back in there. And back over there she goes. There we go. So the rest on the top of the deck now is literally just cosmetic. Just getting rid of most of this grease off of here. And what I've got is my old trusty Pledge Revive It. And all I'll do with that is literally just brush it on. Can't put it on the rag, as I've said before. You don't need a lot of this. And it just brings back the luster you get on a new machine. There we go. As I say, you can put it on the cloth if you want. There you go. Hasn't got to be a paintbrush. I like the paintbrush in certain areas because it gets in all the nooks and crevices. All right, so I'll just go over this, folks, with this, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, one of the main things you've got to do when you do a service, folks, for someone else is a blade sharpen. This one does need a blade sharpen. And all I will say, if you're going to do this for a living, get yourself an impact driver, folks. Makes taking off a blade so much easier. Right, I'm going to go and put an edge on that, folks. And uh, this one needs a bit of sharpening and flattening off as well, because it's had some actual dinks out of it as well. So what I tend to do, folks, just clamp it in the vise. Let's pull my fire blanket down here. And put my goggles on. I use uh, an 80 grit flappy wheel. And what I'm looking to achieve, I'm just flattening the top off there. Can you see there, look? That's nice and flat now. That was pretty much like that where the top had been dug into. And all I was looking for was just to flatten it off so that we don't have that anymore. I'm just gonna square that end off a bit. I'm just gonna start from there and just make sure that's straight before we go to the next stage. Right, okay, so there we go. I'm happy with that. That's nice and flat now, as you can see. A nice blunt edge and no more cuts out of it. And all I'll do now is I'll follow this angle profile and just put an edge back on it again. So I'll just let the grinder do the work, the flappy dish do the work and just go and bring that back to a semi-point again. It's got to be razor sharp, just a semi-point. And there we go. I'm happy with that. That's the front of it, so you don't actually see the sharpened bit because the sharpened bit is as you bolt the long blade up. And these flicks always point upwards. But as you can see there, we've got a nice edge now. Nice square edge compared to this edge here, which got all them cuts in it, as you can see, look at that end. So I'm just gonna do the same to this one now. Till we got it like that and we'll whack it back on after we've balanced it
there we go. Two lovely edges, nicely flattened off as well. And I'm just going to check the balance on the blade now, folks. And you can buy a little tool for doing this. As I've shown in many a video, all I tend to do is just put the blade, held it with a screwdriver. And if it balances, wherever you put it, it's fine. There you go. Everywhere I put that blade, it's balanced. Happy days. So that can now go back on. I don't think I'm even going to bother painting this one. We're doing as little work as possible, only the necessary. Sometimes you have to do that to turn a profit on these smaller mowers, the lower end mowers, shall we say. But as you can see, lovely, shiny, sharp blade there, and also a sharp blade there. Some people tend to put a bit of a chamfer on there as well, on the underside, just in case someone looks. But anyone knows that you've only got to run your finger along the inside of the blade and you can feel. And you can also see basically that it's nice and sharp, the profile's nice and sharp on it. And if you just run your finger in there, you can feel lovely smooth metal. It's not worth really doing the other side because a lot of people say, oh, you've sharpened the blade wrong, you've sharpened the back end of it. Well, it's not the case. The underside is always the side that gets sharpened. Right, okay then, so you may see that there's no two lugs on this type of boss on this one, but it has got a fiber washer there, which should be on. And you've also got a, a domed larger washer that sits on top of the blade, so that when you tighten that nut down, this pushes and compresses and the fiber washer stops it from spinning. So don't forget, these shiny edges we just sharpened and them little flicks go upwards. So we can put that back on there like that. Get our nice newly sharpened blade in place. Just hold it in place. Impact gun, 17 mil socket on this one. There you go, that ain't going nowhere. And there it is, folks. Happy days. Makes your life a hell of a lot easier if you're going to do these for a living, folks, or make some extra money. Let's pull that back down. And as you can see, I've given it a clean up. I'll just drop the uh, grass box back on there. There we go. Get that back on the deck. Put the spark plug cap back on. go and that's it folks one cheaply service mower I'm just going to change the oil in it well I say I'm going to change the oil in it I'm just going to check the oil actually and if it's fine I'll be leaving it that is actually fine. I can see already that's clear as anything so let's just do a proper dip again it's right on the line it's absolutely spotless I haven't even got to change the oil Happy days. It's so nice when it happens like that, folks. They don't come along very often in this condition. Just tighten them handles up a little bit. I just noticed they was a little bit loose. There we go. Okay. Let's put a chair over there. One. There we go. job all I will do is put a couple of cable ties on there I think folks let me go and get a couple right so a couple of these around here it's all cosmetic folks there you go one there and one just above the handle I think There we go. Get the old nipex, cut them off. And there we have it, folks. Don't forget to replace that. It's been looked after, which it has. If they want to take it off, they can take it off, as you know. There you go. Well, they are out there, folks. I'll pick this up maybe for 15 quid. I can't remember exactly. But I'll be advertising this for about 80 pounds, 85 pounds, something like that. And uh, I'll probably take an offer of an £80. Nice easy money, I've not been out here long, 
just tinkering along doing these little things out here in the sun. Not really have to spend any money on it. Just invest a little bit of my time and this is my hobby. Anyway, thanks very much folks. Don't forget to check out my other lawnmower videos. There'll be a card at the end of this video where you can see loads more restorations and repair jobs on these sort of lawnmowers. And I uh, hope you enjoy them anyway. And I'd also like to thank Mark V8 Man for giving me a little super thanks. Thanks very much, Mark. Greatly appreciate it, bud. Thanks very much indeed. So we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. <music>